In my previous video, I shared that the OpenCore team was working on a brand new version of OpenCore Legacy Patcher, version 3.00, which is still in beta. At that time, I installed macOS Tahoe using this beta version and highlighted how it was nearly unusable on unsupported Macs. Core features like the built-in keyboard, trackpad, Wi-Fi, and USB ports were not functioning at all. Thanks to the continued hard work of the OpenCore team, macOS Tahoe is becoming more usable on unsupported Macs. In this updated video, I'll show you how far it has come. We'll take a look at what's working now, what still doesn't, and how practical it is to run macOS Tahoe on older hardware. And at the end, I'll share my personal recommendation on whether or not you should install macOS Tahoe on your unsupported Mac. Let's begin. Right now, I'm running macOS Tahoe on a 2015 MacBook Pro with a fourth generation Intel Core i7 processor and Intel Iris Pro graphics. It's a base model, nothing fancy, but surprisingly, macOS Tahoe is running quite well on this machine. After installing the latest beta of OpenCore Legacy Patcher 3.00, the first major improvement I noticed was with the built-in keyboard. Previously, it was nearly non-functional. Only the power button worked. But now, the entire keyboard is fully operational. I can switch between apps using Command plus Tab, adjust the keyboard brightness with F5 and F6, and even control display brightness with F1 and F2. Every single key on the built-in keyboard works perfectly now. The second big improvement is the trackpad. It was completely unresponsive before, but now it's fully functional. Scrolling, clicking, gestures, all working as expected. Another major breakthrough, all USB ports are fully functional. In my previous video, none of the ports worked, and I had to use a Thunderbolt adapter just to connect a keyboard and mouse. But now, both USB ports on this MacBook Pro are working flawlessly. This is a huge step forward in usability. Bluetooth continues to work just as it did in earlier builds, which is great. However, Wi-Fi is still not supported. Since both macOS Tahoe and OCLP 3.00 are still in beta, I'm hopeful that Wi-Fi support will be added in the final release. Once Wi-Fi is up and running, it will also allow us to apply graphics patches more easily. That should significantly improve system performance, because right now, the experience is sluggish, mainly due to the lack of graphics acceleration. So, here's my final recommendation. Do not install macOS Tahoe on your unsupported Mac just yet. It's still in beta, and while there have been major improvements, it's not ready for daily use, especially if you rely on Wi-Fi and smooth performance. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.